Hello and welcome here on my channel Aperture 1.4. This is my third video about the digital back for your 35mm cameras, I'm back 35. Feel free to check out my other two videos, about the I'm back 35 digital back. There were some requests about my homepage, to know how to take pictures with the back in automatic mode. You can learn about this question, and everything about operating the back in the automatic mode of the back in this video. Have fun watching. In this example, I mounted the camera, my Canon F1 new, on a tripod. Of course, you can also use the automatic mode when shooting handheld. To prepare for the shot, you need to set your camera to B, or bulb mode. This is normally used for long exposures, since the camera does not know how long it will expose, B mode does not allow the camera to control the exposure. But more about that later. If you are shooting from a tripod, use a cable release with a locking mechanism. The cable release is usually screwed into a thread that is integrated into the shutter release button of the camera. One of my cable releases just fell apart. Now you have to operate the quick release lever of your camera, just as if you wanted to transport a film. Now release the camera. Tightens the cable release, to keep the shutter open. Just like a long exposure in the dark. Now you have to switch on the digital back. Of course, you can also switch on the back first, and then operate the camera's shutter release. I have chosen this order mainly because of my explanations on the use of the A mode. The back starts. As the shutter is in B mode, and the cable release is locked, the camera mirror is up, the shutter is open, and the light falls on the sensor of the unback 35, so that you can see a live view on the digital back display. At the moment, the back is in M, manual mode. You can recognize this by the M indicator. To change this, and switch to automatic mode, press the M button. The A symbol now appears in the display. This indicates the automatic mode. The display, which is equipped with a touch function, shows other important data. Micro SD card is inserted. Control symbols for the digital back. The set sensitivity of the sensor in ISO, ASA. If applicable, a set exposure correction. The white balance, here automatic. The resolution, here 20 megapixels. The number of possible exposures. The battery status. And the symbol of the selected recording function. To take a picture in automatic mode, simply press the OK button. A red LED lights up and when it goes out, the picture is taken. In this example video, I press the cable release again after the shot so that the shutter closes and the mirror folds down. Immediately the live view disappears. But how can the most important settings be made on the Unback 35? First, I'll give you some information about using the sensor speed. The film or sensor sensitivity can be selected manually in whole steps from ISO, ASA 100 to 1600. Furthermore, an automatic mode is available for the film or sensor sensitivity. It is important to know, that the sensitivity can only be changed in automatic mode. In M mode, manual mode, the sensitivity is fixed at ISO, ASA 100 and cannot be changed. This also applies if the display shows a different film speed. If you want to change the recording formats, as well as the quality of the JPEG files, you have to click on the cogwheel symbol, and then on the camera symbol that appears. Now scroll in the menu to the quality items, press the setting, and you can choose three different quality levels for the JPEG format. I recommend the fine level. After the selection, the menu jumps back to the previous view. Under the menu item file, there are three different JPEG file settings, and the setting for the raw file format. JPEG files can be recorded in color, in black and white, 
as well as in black and white with sepia toning. Please note, that images taken in RAW format cannot be shown on the display. JPEG files, on the other hand, can be viewed after shooting. In the main menu, you can select the resolution in different levels up to 40 megapixels. In the standard setting, the back shoots with 20 megapixels. I myself only use this setting, as higher megapixel values are certainly only interpolated, and are not helpful for the imaging performance. To change the setting, first press the gear wheel symbol and then the camera symbol on the right hand side of the menu, that now appears. Scroll down to the resolution setting, and set the desired value. Here you can see, that I have increased the megapixels to be recorded from 20 to 40. After you have made all the settings, simply press the OK button again, and a photo will be taken. If you want to view the pictures you have taken, close the shutter of the camera, and then press the play button. Now you can view the pictures you have taken, with the exception of the RAW files. Unfortunately, simultaneous recording of RAW and JPEG files is not possible. Photographing in automatic mode. Here is a summary of the most important facts. ISO from 100 to 1600 freely selectable, or automatically by module. Select aperture manually. Check that the settings can also produce correctly exposed images when shooting on film. Focus. Check image in the viewfinder set camera to be. Keep shutter open. Check image on display when using a tripod. Take picture by pressing the OK button on the module. You can either shoot from a tripod, in which case I recommend using a cable release with a locking screw, or you can shoot handheld, in which case you have to hold down the shutter release until you have pressed the OK button on your own back 35 and the digital back has finished shooting. In addition, some sensors cause a strong green cast in the raw file format. The manufacturer is already looking for a software solution here. Thank you very much for your interest and your time. I hope that I have helped you a little bit with this video, or that I have aroused your curiosity about the Unback 35. Feel free to check out my other videos on my channel, and visit me at Aperture1.4.com and on Instagram at Aperture1.4. I would also be very happy about a like. Bye.